I think that uh, everyone would probably agree that last night was the catharsis that we all needed. The um, Star Wars treat that just kind of made everything worthwhile. Not everything, but a lot of the stuff that uh, that we've all been going through this long, arduous year. And then they gave us, Disney, of all people, gave us the, the ultimate gift. Uh, there's no spoilers here. Uh, you're, you're welcome to talk about um, the Mandalorian season finale uh, in the comments. Just as long as you uh, give spoiler warnings, because I'm sure that there's some people that have been unable to watch it. Uh, the rest of us can just bask. That was absolutely glorious. Um, but anyway, speaking of absolutely glorious, I have a an unboxing from Crimson Dawn. And um, this one isn't a mystery box. No, no. This one is a, a new hilt and my first eco uh, smooth swing uh, hilt. I guess that's what they call them. And I really hope that this thing has a charge in it because I, I haven't I haven't tried one of these yet. And I really would like to try it on camera. Uh, right here for you guys. Um, I, obviously, I have uh, plenty of savers with Smooth Swing, but this is my first uh, low-budget, non-profi uh, Smooth Swing experience, so I'm really looking forward to this. And this one is called the Antares. So if anyone has been to the Crimson Dawn website and has seen this hilt, I just think this hilt is uh, is beautiful. And, um, and now I'm going to crack it open. We're going to take a look at it. Had Crimson Dawn my comments on one of my uh, mystery box unboxing videos, saying that it was going to be my last unboxing, and they uh, kind of called me out on that a little bit. Not that I blame them, but perhaps I will give their mystery boxes another chance. They said, and I quote. Uh, if I uh, put down the sabers that I already own, um, I don't. I don't think that's just limited to um, the the hilts that I've received in mystery boxes, but everything that I own. If I if I list them in the uh, in the special instructions, then um, they'll take that into account when they send me a uh, a mystery box. So um, that seems logical. I didn't know that was a thing that they would do. But if they're willing to do that, then I'm willing to give uh, their mystery boxes another try. This is interesting. They have not uh, inserted the blade into the hilt. I kind of like that. It's a very, very, uh, very saber forge of them. And it looks like they have it kind of set up so I can unwrap it a little easier. I think these guys are learning. Not that they weren't earning, learning, earning. Well, they're earning. I'm sure they're earning. They've been making so much money these holidays, I'm sure. They've been so busy, I would imagine. Uh, but they're learning as they go. And uh, there's still plenty of this stuff. And it's still, you know, difficult to get at the pelts. And it's still tedious for you guys, so I apologize for that. There's uh, no easy way to do this, nor do I think there ever will be. So y'all just gonna have to be patient, you know what I mean? Not everybody can, uh, you know, open one of these things up with nary a weight. Of course, you don't want to scratch the thing. Okay. Kind of don't even really care about the blade anyway. One of these days, I'm actually going to get good. Right now, that is not the case. Now, can I slide this thing out? No. I think they wrap these things deliberately to make them as much of a laugh riot 
as humanly possible. And it tears, but once it gets, uh, once it gets a little bit rolled up, it gets to achieve the tensile strength of a uh, Spider-Man's web. There's got to be another way to do this. There's simply, there's got to be another way. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Mostly slowly. All right. This is just embarrassing. It really is. All right. I don't care about the blade. All right. And then you finally get to the hilt. And that's wrapped too. Where is it wrapped? It's like trying to find the uh, the beginning of a roll of scotch tape. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I can't find it. I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Scotty, hi. Can't get at the saber. I just can't get at the saber. Damn it, man, I need more power. <laughs> this is such a fiasco. So what did everybody do with their day? For me, today was last minute Christmas shopping. I have a friend who, uh, my, well, my best friend, she and I, uh, she and I, uh, do an annual trip to uh, you know, an annual Christmas shopping trip every year. So we've been friends pretty much. And we usually we used to go to Boston. Now uh, it's New York. Every year we'll go to New York. So technically I wouldn't be home tonight, but instead I'm home early. Went to Connecticut. And that's where I did my shopping in Connecticut. Holy crap! There you go. There's a damn saber. Enjoy. I'm just messing with you. I wouldn't do that to you. Okay, so here we go. The Antares. Get that pommel secured. What is this? This wasn't me. All right, that's fine. It wasn't a scuff. It wasn't a scuff. It was just some schmutz. All right, so what do we have here? We have the Antares from the Antares Nebula. Wow, this is a very, very pretty saber. Got yourself a nice little uh, angled emitter, non-S type. Very thick, very thick uh, material there. This is, of course, uh, RGBW, full color changing with flash on clash. Yowza. And you got these nice little windows here. Uh, blade retention uh, screw holes. They're Screws, I imagine, are in the box somewhere. They usually give you a goodie bag, which includes the, um, I don't know, blade retention screw, screws, um, the um, Allen key that you need to get said blade retention screws in there and tightened, um, charging cable, and uh, usually some instruction thing you do, or at least a sheet or something. Uh, probably this time around explaining how this, uh, New fancy schmancy sound wood works. So we get these little slats here, which are going to act as windows. I can almost see you. I can see right through there to you. And these are neat little, uh, neat little decorative uh, uh, choke points. Yes, choke points. I like that. 
So, yeah, two-handed. This can do two-handed. It's got this little faux kind of, um, faux kind of shroud action going on here. It kind of feels a little bit like the grenade section on, um, you know, Obi-Wan or Luke's lightsaber. Very, very well designed. You get your, your typical switch section on bungers here with the recharge port and the, uh, requisite screws that hold the, the whole assembly in place that holds the whole chassis in place it doesn't have a doesn't seem to have a oh you can undo it where do you want where's this coming undone let us see let's look at this this here chassis and then we'll uh put this thing back together and see if uh see if it'll turn on okay ah so you get that that clear chassis action there's your soundboard the uh Saber Studio uh, lithium-ion 18650 battery. A nice quality speaker. Yeah, kind of bassy. A little bit small. I don't know exactly if this is 20 millimeter or what, a, what the millimeter size is. There's your uh, grip section. Very nice, very nice. And, of course, uh, that just slides together. So it's a little bit snug. And then you secure it. Okay, and you have, this is your pommel, of course it's a pommel, because it's on the pommel end of the saber, for it, so therefore it is a pommel. This one is uh, kind of a reverse of, uh, well not really a reverse, well it's kind of weird, didn't quite the finish the painting there. Hello, quality control, you forgot something, hello, that's okay, it's, it's uh, weathering. That should actually cost extra, yeah. But it's black. It's it's anodized black. I think I think this is normally this color here because I have uh what is it? That's the name. Of it. My enforcer has the same pommel and it's silver, and uh, I think they just anodized this thing and they just kind of over anodized this little thing right here. Uh, again, no big deal. It's not going to kill me. These are the little things that would annoy the hell out of most people, but whatever. All right, so, moment of truth. Let's see if this beauty will turn on because I really hope it has enough juice just to turn on and let us experience this smooth swing. Or I'm experiencing it for the first time. I don't know if you're experiencing it for the first time. Let's find out. Ooh, that actually has a different boot up sound. Oh! Like that that's really cool what do we have for fonts Ray Skywalker okay Leia. Leia I've been waiting for this day for a long time Kylo Ren I have no idea That is gratifying, huh? Where do I get the... There we go. Ah. That really sounds good. I like that font. Count Dooku. I, I actually knew this one was on there. Oh, I like that.
That's very gratifying. Believe it or not, that's my first Dooku font. Dooku's like one of my all-time favorite Sith Lords. I love Count Dooku. And I, <laughs> I don't even have a Dooku font on any of my sabers. What well, the hell's wrong with me? I don't even freaking know what's wrong with me these days. Okay, let's try this. I'm Cal Kestis. Yeah, so I, I was kind of, I was kind of glossing over the fonts that we've heard before, even though they will sound different on this hill. But I have to hear this. Yeah, that's just Uh, by the way, I've been swinging this thing around, and it's it's just really comfortable in the hand. None of this none of this stuff is sharp. This is just really, really. It's sweet. Everything is lining up perfectly. This is just brilliant. You have something I want. Again, we gotta listen to this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Eventually, I'll review this and I'll go over all the fonts or I'll do a nighttime demo or something like that. You know, I won't let you down. <laughs> Sidious. Yes. Skywalker. And back to the beginning. I like it. I like this saber. This thing is awesome. Truly awesome. Oh, and by the way, they sent me a 32-inch blade. I asked them, and they sent me a 32-inch blade. They never let me down. Well, they let me down once. But they made it up to me. They sent me the right size blade. Was it? Did they really? Yeah, I think they did. So uh, <laughs> I can get this thing charged up and uh, really put it through its paces. This is great. I've been I've been really wanting to get one of these new um, new soundboards, um, and I'm thrilled with it. The performance is great. It sounds good. Not as good as the Profi, uh, obviously, uh, because it's it's Profi. But it definitely it sounds better than the older boards, the uh, Krakadon V4 and whatnot. It's definitely a higher quality speaker. Uh, the smooth swing sounds really good. Uh, the the clashes do tend to cut into the smooth swing a little bit. They they kind of fire off intermittently. Yeah, you know, I mean it's just it's it's a it's an economy board, so it's not going to be perfect, but um. Yeah, I'm really, really, really impressed with this thing. So here, just take one more look at it. This thing's a beauty. And the price, this thing cost not nothing, but it was definitely not what one ex would expect to pay for a Sabre with Smooth Swing. Definitely not. Just, just you know, <laughs> what you can get these days, if, if you just have, if you save up a little bit of money, you can get something like this now from Crimson Dawn, the Antares, with Smooth Swing. And I'm like, what was that, like six fonts, nine fonts? Who cares? 
It sounds great. It's full color, RGB, flash on clash, blaster block, lockup sounds. Um, that I'm the thing. I no no doubt it has all the music built into it, and it and anybody can afford it. You, you, the, there's companies where you can't get anything like nearly not not nearly as as comprehensive and and the quality of these things is great. I mean the chassis system that that Crimson Dawn is using. I mean the, it's LGT is the company that's producing the Saber Source of Saber Source, but um, you know still. They're being distributed by reputable um, distributors uh, that, that know what they're doing. And um, uh, what more can you ask for? It's, it's kind of the golden age uh, for, for Star Wars fans right now, considering everything that's coming out. We're getting, we're getting a freaking Boba Fett series. We're getting a Boba Fett series. I mean, damn, you know. So we got the Mandalorian, Boba Fett. And, and just everything else that they've announced that's coming out. It's just amazing. Anyway, so I can just ramble on all night, but I'm not going to do that to you. So here it is, the Antares. Um, hope you like it. If you want one, go to uh, Crimson Dawn and get yourself one. They don't cost all that much. And so far, this thing's just a beauty. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, so um, that's it for me. Um, hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the weekend. And... Um, I'll definitely catch you in the next video. Please uh, um, subscribe, like, dislike, what have you, and uh, share. If you want to share this video and show everybody like, the, the newest that Crimson Dawn has to offer, that'd be great. But in the meantime, may the force be with you, my friends. And uh, I will catch you soon enough in the next video. So take care and uh... bye.